beautiful collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only Optibotomus coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Crosshairs. For the package, much like a lot of the other Premier Edition figures, you got that nice open window that fully showcases the figure. You got the Transformers text, the Transformers Last Night logo down there. Really cool image of crosshairs along the side. You can see he's a deluxe class on this side. He says that he's a rogue sharpshooter. Sure, okay, we'll, we'll go with that. On the back of the package, you've got an image of his robot as well as his vehicle mode. And then images of the new Bumblebee as well as Stray. Also, because I had to get it from Taiwan, I get this really cool sticker, which, yeah, whatever. But uh, for the packaging, like I said, very similar to all the other Premier Editions. Nothing really is different. You, you get the little hanging tag that they all come with. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Crosshairs opened up out of his packaging and obviously in his vehicle mode. And as you can see, much like his Age of Extinction version, he once again is a green and black Corvette Stingray. Uh, I believe it's just a newer model of Corvette Stingray. But you see a lot of the same elements that the previous version had. But I actually like this one a lot more. I think this came across very, very well. You can see obviously the, uh, the black and green motif kind of goes on. One thing that I like about this is as opposed to the uh, previously Hasbro release version is that the paint is symmetrical. I'll, I'll bring out the other one and you'll see what I mean, but I, I do like how they got the stripes and everything on both sides. So you got that nice black across the top. You got kind of a, a sparkly sort of windshield in here, which looks pretty good. That same kind of sparkly plastic is used down here for the actual headlights, but then you can see that coming in here, you got some nice painted detail throughout it. You got a little molded uh, Corvette logo there. Again, you can can see some nice molding along the side really nice silver for the rims you can see that the uh, brakes down on the uh, underside are also painted silver which look really good both of those uh, front and back tires have that then you come around here to the back and again you can see a Corvette logo molded right in there then you got some red paint for the tail lights you got the oh it actually says Corvette right on the bottom section there too that's kind of cool then you got the little license plate you got the exhaust pipes uh, you got the spoiler overall I mean it, it's a very similar look, but it is much better. Now, here is the original. Now, like I was talking about, you had the stripes on that side, and then they didn't put them on that side, which wasn't movie accurate. You had to get, like, the Takara one to be able to get the accurate paint job. But you can see uh, the new one is a little bit bigger in terms of length. Width is uh, about the same, but it, it just... This looks a little bit more squat, doesn't it? I mean, this has a much longer and sleeker kind of look just looks better i think now the tires yeah, yeah the tires are even different i thought those were the same those are different uh, everything on the outer section here is different which looks terrific you can look in the back here and you can see that this has a little bit more of a glossy paint whereas this is more of a matte black kind of color which i think just looks a lot nicer obviously the taillights really help to bring things out as well but overall the, the general look is much improved as i said i think it's just a more recent model of the corvette and therefore just for me, has a cooler kind of look to it. Now, he does have weapon storage. You come around here to the bottom. They plug in here on the side. It's a little bit precarious to get them in there because you got little tabs here that you kind of have to wedge in along the inside here. So once you get one in, it's okay. But then the second one's a little bit kind of tricky to get in there because you don't have as much space so you have to push that in there and then it kind of pushes that out but you can get in there but you can store both of these in his vehicle mode robot mode's a little bit <laughs> cramped to kind of storm but i'll talk about well i shouldn't say cramped it's just non-existent uh, but then uh, you, you, you robot mode pretty similar to how the uh original one was as well and i guess i could show you you got that but uh as you can see kind of similar look on the bottom now while transformation is very very similar there have been some improvements done to it so to go ahead and transform them just come around here we're going to kind of separate all this pull this apart get just pull everything get everything loosened up detach and then just kind of flop this back like that this section right here kind of pull this away just like that and then you can hinge this whole section back and down this section right here you're going to be able to flare this out just like that you can get these arms 
separated, kind of hinge those out just like that. Take this section, can rotate these towards the back like that, and then you can bring these bits down. So again, we're just kind of pulling things, getting clearance stuff out of the way. So you can fold it all back, there you go. Fold that down, fold that. Oh yeah, there you go. Again, clearance issues sometimes get in the way. Take the legs, gonna split those, rotate these down. You got a little heel spur underneath, fold that out, and then rotate there at the knee. Do that on this side as well, like that. Rotate that around. And then you wanna take these little bits here, kind of on the side, they kind of bumping into everything here, so. There, get the arms out, there we go. Fold these little pieces out like that. There you go. And then you can take this, tuck this in, bring that up just like so. Then position this kind of around his waist area. You can rotate these down, that all got moved back. Pull that down. And when you're done, there you have Crosshair's back in his robot mode. So like I said, it's a similar transformation, but it is definitely improved, at least in my opinion. But as you can see, the transformation is almost identical. It's only a little bit different because some of the parts on him changed. And a few extra things can actually be achieved. But you can see, this guy actually looks really cool. Now, uh, for me, I never displayed crosshairs in his robot mode. I, I didn't honestly like it all that much. Uh, for comparison, here he is. And here is that original one. And... Well, I'll say, like, like I talked about, not a ton really changes uh, between these figures. There are some aesthetic changes in different parts that really do help make the figure look a lot better, I think. You can see that with the arms, previously you had these big giant panels that came down and covered up the hands. That's now been basically redesigned here. You no longer have that extended piece that covers up his hands, so you get a really nice kind of unobstructed use of his hands. You can see that the other big change here is the back. Uh, this entire section here was just on this one hinge, it didn't do anything. It didn't fold up or anything like that. Uh, I guess maybe to give the illusion that he's wearing a trench coat. Now, you still can do that with this if you hinge this out and just pull this entire section out. If you wanted to, you can do that as well. Uh, now, it doesn't hinge back like the other one did, but I actually like the fact that it collapses up and hides away. Uh, now, granted, it doesn't give that same trench coat look, I guess, but I think it just looks better. And the top section here is the same. Obviously, it's a little bit different because of the you know, different molded back section. The other part that's really radically different is these little flap bits. Uh, these pieces are hard plastic. As you can see, though, they blend so much nicer with the color. It just looks way better you look at this one and these were made out of that soft rubber that never really tabbed up there very easily uh, they folded around here most of the time i just left it like that just to kind of clean that up a little bit but you do have those still and it's just these didn't really look all that good uh, it was this rubber material as i said and it just it didn't work i i, I didn't think it was it was a nice attempt and uh, what I will say is that I think they recognized that it didn't work very well and they improved it by doing this and it fixes the color dramatically. Now, some people have complained about the color. Getting this opened up a little bit more so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, the original one has a lot more black, obviously, in the entire figure, predominantly here in the chest. Well, chest and torso and legs, I guess you should say. That's different here. You got a lot more silver here. You got a lot more green. You can look at the top section here. You got this black section for his head. Uh, you can see that this is now all green. I do kind of wish that they put a little bit more extra paint in there to kind of break things up. This looks a little bit better. Kind of looks like his goggles are a separate piece other than this one. It kind of looks like it's all part of the same thing. But the, the brighter colors, I think, look better on this guy. Head sculpt, I'm trying to look here. Looks like it's just about the same. You just have uh, a different piece at the top. This has a light pipe section. This one no longer does. But it, it's just like I said, I, I really do feel a better looking figure. Now coming in closer, 
a little too close, uh, you can see really nice paint detail and sculpt for the head. But the eyes do kind of have a dead sort of look. You can definitely see that they're blue, but uh, the other one, uh, well, I mean, it had light piping, but I mean, well, no, that actually comes through pretty nice. So that light piping looks pretty good. Uh, if they're the same heads, I honestly might just swap those. I mean, he does have black kind of accenting certain areas and he doesn't have anything there. So that might actually look pretty good. But great detail with the chest area. And obviously this bit right here is different and different and new uh, this is a hard plastic but overall i mean nice detail maybe if you had some black kind of thrown in here the original one had black on this bit right here that probably would look pretty cool and then the other thing that i'm noticing is that he is a brighter green you can see that the original one is a darker green color but it's still really cool i think and nicely captures the figure now in terms of weapon storage for his robot mode it's i don't i don't know how it actually works uh, you got little tabs on the inside here that uh, correspond with little holes except and i've seen a couple different videos actually on this guy because this was one that i was legitimately curious about and the videos that i've seen they all show how like this comes up here and you put that there you squeeze in nothing it it literally does not grip it uh, at all and that's the truth on both sides so you line that up on this side here and making i want to make sure that i get it in the right thing there you go so you you squeeze and nothing it doesn't do anything there so uh, weapon storage is really a moot point with this uh, there isn't any other than him holding them so it's a little unfortunate um but i mean i, I kind of don't mind him holding them that's one aspect that i think that really should have been improved upon before they release the figure uh, for his articulation it's pretty much the exact same because a lot of the stuff is basically the same the head here is on a ball joint looks kind of up and down a little bit you can see little range of motion there side to side but because of the shoulder pieces and then the head it really wide range of motion the shoulders here are these little pieces here in the back you can kind of leave them there um, or move them forward uh, i mean they flex all sorts of different places but uh, there is a little bit of kind of kibble uh, back here and when you rotate this around a lot of times this little section here wants to hit pieces so that does kind of hinder it you just got to be careful to navigate all those little pieces uh, it does move in and out a little bit but the shoulder pieces up here get that back the shoulder pieces up here uh, do kind of restrict that as well so it's there but it's not all that great he rotates at the upper part of the bicep he's got basically two elbow joints mostly as part of the transformation which is nice because you can get some really cool poses with him kind of wielding his guns nothing at the waist the hips here are on uh, i think these are just universal yeah these are universal joints uh, this back section here kind of hinges back so you can kind of move that around and such so you got universal joints here for the hips so forward back in and out he does rotate right above the knee bends here at the knee and then the foot does move forward and back so you do get some uh, ankle kind of articulation in, in general the articulation is basically the same as what the previous one had because a lot of the parts are very similar but i just think that they took a figure that was pretty good and they essentially just refined him and i think that works perfectly fine for this guy I mean, they could have done some extra things to really improve them, um, but I'm happy with it uh, just in general. I, I think he came out pretty cool, and honestly, I am a lot more inclined now to display this guy in his robot mode. Most of the time, my figures are displayed in their robot modes, and this was like the only one in my collection that had a vehicle mode display. So it was kind of weird for the longest time. But uh, for the transformation back, uh, again, it is very similar. You have these little pieces right here. You tuck these down and in the original one had that as well. You just got different material. This part's new. You want to fold this out, extend that out just like that. Bring the feet, this again, very similar, well, exactly similar. Rotate this around, 
and you bring this together. This is a very common thing. Barricade did this as well. So I wonder if they got some inspiration for Barricade with this guy. Who knows? You, you never know, boys and girls. Fold this down, kind of get this along the side. You're just kind of bringing everything together here. You want to then hinge these down and then hinge these down and bring the whole front section together. We're going to line all this up, bring that in. I also do like, uh, you can see that you got some like silver detail right here that when you bring this over, it actually kind of hides it. You don't really see it all that much. Uh, so it, it would almost make sense if that was clear, but you, when you look at it in hand, you can see like depth to it. You can see that there's something underneath it, which I think is really cool. I dig that. And then bring this in and again, you hinge this and then tab this up just like so. Do that on this side as well. Kind okay, of, well, I'm sorry. Get these in there. Bring this in. Tab that up. There we go. And get that in there. Keep that rotated out. Bring these all together. Bring this down. Kind of move that little piece. Squeeze that all in. Bring this down and fit all this together. Kind of shell formery. And then you just squeeze everything. Make sure that you have all the little panels properly aligned. Like this one is not properly aligned. So oh, we'll pop that in. Get, there we go. Give that a little squeeze. Look at everything. See how that looks. And make sure that that's kind of pushed in there good. That's in there good. You can take the weapons, like I said. You can put that right in there. Give that a squeeze. This one, find that little slot. Kind of push that in there. And that actually kind of keeps these pieces pushed out. It's it's an interesting design, that's for sure. But when you're done, there you have, <laughs> there you have Crosshairs back in his vehicle mode. Really though, a stellar looking car. The alt mode is absolutely perfect for the most part. Other than some, I guess, panel lines being on them, which, you know, it's a transformer, so you're gonna get this. I would almost say that this is a perfect representation of his car mode. Transformation is exactly the same for the most part. There's a few different pieces, like with the back section, but nothing overly complicated. If you could transform the previous one, you can absolutely transform this guy. And I think his robot mode is a marked improvement. Mostly in the fact that I like that his little back thing cleans up fairly nicely. And I like that they replace those rubbery flappy things in the front with hard plastic ones with some really nice paint. It also helps that they're a little bit smaller than the previous one was. And then something very simple as changing the actual side pieces on his arm really does go a long way to aesthetically changing the way that he looks and making him look more accurate and just better in general. Well, yes, Crosshairs didn't get a lot of screen time in The Last Night. He's a character that's held over from the Age of Extinction film. So in terms of a recommendation, if you have him in a movie display, you probably had the previous one, so get rid of that one and get this guy. So all that being said, if Crosshairs is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he should be hitting various retail locations fairly soon. So if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, you can keep your eyes on Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformers The Last Night figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibonimus. Don't forget that if you like this video, to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. It's free, and you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, do me a real quick favor and click on that little bell right below this video, and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. Notifications. And as always, until next time, till all are one.